Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another Steven Universe review. Can you tell I've done these all in a single night? <laughs> no, seriously, the past few episodes have all been one after another. But, with that, we're on the season finale. It's... it's been a long road to get here. What, it's been... I don't know, the season 4 premiere was, what, August last year? Uh, it's it, you know it's weird how the show works. We go through like what we got like ninety percent of season two was or season three I mean was like what May which we are in right now to uh, what August last year and now this season took out a lot longer to get through. They really pace these episodes out weird. But yeah, season four it's we're finally getting to our climax. The the thing the past four episodes have been building to. And I think it's okay. Honestly, it's it's exactly what I expected. No, no surprises, no twists. This is exactly what I saw coming. Maybe the season five premiere will surprise me. I it's probably I hear it's in a few weeks. Maybe potentially theoretically. But let's just get started. So it starts off, Steven tells the other gyms, oh, Connie's been abducted, we need to go find them. So they get a picture from Connie and they head over to Funland. They're searching around, eventually they find Connie's phone, and they find Topaz and Aquamarine. Okay. So Aquamarine is like, she's looking for my dad, right? Because that's all she wants. Because she's she's looking for six gems. She got a report from a Steven. And it's like, what? What? What are they talking about? And then we get the flashback to, um, whatever. Uh, maybe Marble Madness? It was probably Marble Madness. Where we see, um, Peridot. And Steven's like, oh yeah, there's tons of other humans. Connie, Lars... Onion, the mailman, my dad. She's looking for someone named my dad. And I'm glad they put this flashback here, because if they didn't, I would have never remembered that. Because that was season... What, was that season... That was season one, wasn't it? Or was, was that season... No, that must have been season one. It's been a long time, and... Yeah, the one thing is, she brings up that in the report filed by Peridot, it talked about Crystal Gems. But I thought nobody knew that the Crystal Gems were still around. Right? Was I the only one who thought that? Because the only person who knew, or well, everyone that found out was destroyed, except for Ruby, from Room for Ruby a few episodes ago. She's been the only one to get off planet with that information. So, we'll see. I mean, because the diamond, as far as the diamonds know, the cluster is still planted in the earth. But yeah, that being, that aside, we get a fight scene between um, the Crystal Gems and Topaz, and they're using the humans as a shield. And Aquamarine eventually brings up, well, the report never said if we had to bring them alive, bring them back dead or alive. But if they're picking them up for the zoo, which presumably they are... Shouldn't they want to, shouldn't they be bringing them back alive? Whatever. But in this scene, they try to make Aquamarine look intimidating. It doesn't work. I've seen this before. Make the cute character look intimidating. Um, a good example, or the only example I'm thinking of off the top of my head is, um, Anais in Amazing World of Gumball. I'm pretty sure she's cute, right? She's the cute little rabbit, but they've made her look intimidating. Aquamarine, though, cannot pull that off. She does. They add all the shade, right? They add shadows and whatnot to make it look intimidating, but it doesn't. It's the nose. The nose just looks off. It's it's my problem with the design, as I've said before. Because and especially her personality. She's meant to. She's this little bratty child. We see her stick her tongue out and like, right that. And a few scenes later, it it just doesn't fit. It doesn't work. But eventually, Steven's like, okay, you want my dad? I am my dad. And he gets captured by Topaz. And they go off. We find out the ship's hidden in the top of the carousel. And Steven's plan is to activate his bubble and blow up Topaz. Once they get on the ship, he does activate his bubble and blow up Topaz. We get a fight scene between the 
um, the two topaz is separated, and um, uh, and Stephen and Connie, and we see Topaz's weapon is like a stick with like a, it's kind of like uh, it, it remind it's those gladiator sticks. You know what I'm talking about? Kind of, it's basically a poor man's mace <laughs> without the spikes. But um, we see one of the Topazes capture Sadie, and Lars goes to help, but then he freaks out and goes and runs downstairs. Which, that's the last we see of Lars in this episode. He doesn't come back. He doesn't escape, which we'll get to. So, Lars is still on the ship. That's going to come back. Because if I'm correct, one of the future episodes is called, like, Lars's Colors or something. So, we'll see. But eventually, the two Topazes fuse back together. And they, they think about forming Stevani, but they don't. And then Alexandrite shows up. Catches the ship and like pushes it down back into the water or into the water so that all the gyms can jump off, right? It is cool to see Alexandrite again. It's the first time since what? The season three premiere? Probably. Uh, but then um, Aquamarine uses her little wand to freeze everybody in place so that way they can't escape. Okay, right? And then Steven does exactly what I expected him to do. He admits that I'm not my dad, I am my mom. I am Rose Quartz, leader of the Crystal Gems. I, since the moment they revealed this arc, right, I knew this was going to happen. This was so obvious, I saw this coming from a mile and a half away. It, it was so obvious they were going to do this. And in one of the future episodes, it's called um, Trial or something like that. So we'll probably, so he's, something's going to happen. Because people are always like, oh, after we saw Blue Diamond, people were like, oh, are we going to get a Blue Diamond redemption arc? But I think people have it backwards. We're not going to get a Blue Diamond redemption arc. We're going to get a Rose Quartz redemption arc. She is the villain at this point. And Steven says, I know mom started this. I'm going to end it. So, yeah, it's it's only left to see where we go from here. We, this is, the fifth season is the last season. There are rumors about a sixth one. I don't think it should happen. The reason for that is people talk, show rot. People, if a show airs long enough, it'll eventually get bad. It'll eventually lose its spark. You either live like Breaking Bad, you either die like Breaking Bad, or live long enough to see yourself become Dexter. You are, or in better terms for this channel, you either end like Gravity Falls or live long enough to see yourself become SpongeBob, right? You don't want to become SpongeBob. And with Steven Universe, people are people didn't really like the fourth season. I personally thought it was good. I really liked it. It's better than the first, especially. Or, well, the first half of the first. I, I don't have a lot of the complaints people do, but people are already saying it's hitting that show rot. So just end it now. Don't hope for a fifth season. Let's just end it and let it end on a high note. And the fifth season should start, I don't know, sometime in the next month or two. Only time will tell. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes. And But yeah, in the overall episode, it's just... I I saw everything coming. It's It's okay. It's not as good as other season... Well, actually, the season two... Log date 71115 wasn't really that good of an episode for us, but message received was. And then season three's premiere, or season four's finale. Oh, what even was season f or season three's finale? I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was good. Oh, it was Back to the Moon, or Bubbled. Those are both good episodes, so yeah, no. This is, it's just not the best season finale but it promises a lot, and hopeful, and I'm excited. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.